Hello friends, welcome to Health Vizac, Medical Concepts Simplified. In this video, we will learn about arterial blood gas or ABG basics. ABG or arterial blood gas is an important blood investigation which gives us insights about the blood gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide and also the acid base status. It also reflects electrolyte levels and lactic acid status present in the blood. Arterial blood gas or ABG is usually collected through radial or femoral artery in a heparinized syringe and is usually performed in patients presenting with breathlessness either due to respiratory, cardiogenic or metabolic cause. It is usually advisable to perform modified Allen's test before ABG. This is done to check the patency of ulnar artery and to avoid damage to hand if radial artery gets embolized during or post procedure. Modified Allen's test is done by asking patient to clench fist for 30 seconds and then compressing both radial and ulnar artery. Then slowly release the ulnar artery to check whether the palm is getting ample blood supply from ulnar collaterals. Normal blood pH is between 7.35 to 7.45 and is usually maintained with the help of lungs, kidneys and buffer system. Lungs maintain the blood pH by regulating the CO2 or carbon dioxide level through alteration in depth and speed of respiration which is triggered by chemoreceptors present in the brain. Lungs are usually faster and compensation is achieved within minutes. Kidneys maintain the blood pH by regulating the excretion or absorption of H plus ions or bicarbonate HCO3 ions. Kidneys are usually slower and may take several hours or days for compensation. Buffers include carbonic acid and bicarbonate ions present in the blood. In normal scenario, carbon dioxide dissolved in the bloodstream is neutralized by carbonic acid and bicarbonate buffers to form a weak acid called carbonic acid which is dissociated into H plus and bicarbonate ions which helps in maintaining the normal pH. As per henderson hasselbach equation, pH is equal to 6.1 plus log of bicarbonate divided by 0.3 into PaCO2 or pH is equal to pK plus kidney divided by lung. It means pH is directly proportional to bicarbonate and inversely proportional to CO2. Any change in CO2 or bicarbonate causes the shift of equation to right or left making the pH acidic or alkaline. This change triggers the chemoreceptors which helps in normalizing the pH. Chemoreceptors are either peripheral or central. Peripheral chemoreceptors are present in carotid and aortic bodies which are sensitive to oxygen and carbon dioxide fluctuations. Whereas central chemoreceptors are present in medulla and are sensitive to pHCO2 and pH. This is done by compensation mechanism which is supported by kidneys or lungs. Acid base disorders results in either metabolic or respiratory acidosis or alkalosis which may be simple or mixed or as per compensation it may be partially compensated, fully compensated or uncompensated. The effects and body's response to metabolic acidosis or alkalosis or respiratory acidosis or alkalosis can easily be understood by simple seesaw method. Metabolic acidosis causes decrease in HCO3 and pH levels and increase in carbon dioxide level. To compensate this rise in CO2 level, body triggers the lung and increases the rate and depth of respiration causing hyperventilation. This results in CO2 washout and ultimately the CO2 level falls thus resulting in respiratory alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis causes increase in the HCO3 and pH levels and decrease in the carbon dioxide level. To compensate this, body starts hypoventilating resulting in decrease in the respiratory rate and depth and rate of respiration thus resulting in increase in the CO2 level and ultimately respiratory acidosis. On the other hand respiratory acidosis causes increase in the CO2 level and decrease in the pH and bicarbonate levels. To compensate this body triggers kidneys to retain more bicarbonate ions thus resulting in the increase in the bicarbonate levels in the blood and ultimately resulting in metabolic alkalosis. Respiratory alkalosis causes decrease in the CO2 level and increase in the pH and bicarbonate levels. And to compensate this, body triggers kidneys to excrete more bicarbonate ions thus resulting in the reduction of bicarbonate levels in the blood and ultimately metabolic acidosis. Let's now have a look at the normal parameters of ABG. Normal pH ranges between 7.35 to 7.45. Normal PaCO2 ranges between 35 to 45 mm of mercury. Normal bicarbonate 
ranges between 22 to 26 milli equimoles per liter. Normal PO2 ranges between 80 to 100 millimeter of mercury. Normal saturation is more than 95% on room air. Normal anion gap is 12 plus or minus 2 milli equivalents per liter. Normal lactic acid is less than 1 millimole per liter. Now let's have a look at the parameters that decide acidosis and alkalosis. Metabolic acidosis is a condition in which the pH is low or less than 7.35 and bicarbonate is less than 22 milli equivalents per liter. Metabolic alkalosis is a condition in which pH is high that is more than 7.45 and bicarbonate is more than 26 milli equivalents per liter. Respiratory acidosis is a condition in which the pH is low that is less than 7.35 and pHCO2 is more than 45 millimeters of mercury. Respiratory alkalosis is a condition in which pH is high that is more than 7.45 and pHCO2 is less than 35 millimeters of mercury. Acidemia is a condition in which the pH is less than 7.35 and alkalemia is a condition in which the pH is more than 7.45. Body tries to maintain the normal pH level by compensation mechanism which always happens in the same direction that is fall in bicarbonate is compensated by fall in pHCO2 level and rise in bicarbonate is compensated by rise in pHCO2 level. However, expected compensation can be calculated by the given formulas. In case of metabolic acidosis, bicarbonate level falls so body compensate it by decreasing the pHCO2 level. So expected fall in pHCO2 is calculated by formula 1.5 multiplied by bicarbonate level plus 8. In case of metabolic alkalosis, bicarbonate level rises. So body compensate it by rising or increasing in the pHCO2 level and the expected rise in pHCO2 is calculated by formula 0.75 multiplied by rise in bicarbonate level. In case of respiratory acidosis, pHCO2 level is high. So body compensates it by increasing the bicarbonate level. Expected rise in bicarbonate in an acute condition is calculated by formula 0.1 multiplied by rise in pHCO2 level whereas the chronic rise in bicarbonate level is calculated by formula 0.4 multiplied by rise in pHCO2 level. In case of respiratory alkalosis, pHCO2 level falls so body compensates it by decreasing the bicarbonate level. Expected fall in bicarbonate in an acute condition is calculated by formula 0.2 multiplied by fall in pHCO2 level whereas chronic fall in bicarbonate level is calculated by formula 0.4 multiplied by fall in pHCO2 level. Lastly, some important points to remember. Acidemia is pH less than 7.35 and alkalemia is pH more than 7.45. For metabolic, check bicarbonate and for respiratory, check pHCO2 levels. pH is directly proportional to bicarbonate and inversely proportional to pHCO2 level. That is, rise in bicarbonate causes rise in pH and fall in bicarbonate causes fall in pH whereas rise in pHCO2 causes fall in pH and fall in pHCO2 causes rise in pH and it can easily be remembered with the help of mnemonic called ROMS which goes by respiratory opposite metabolic same compensation always happens in the same direction that is rise in bicarbonate is compensated by rise in pHCO2 level whereas fall in bicarbonate is compensated by fall in pHCO2 levels. Normal pH is maintained by lungs, kidneys and buffer systems. So friends, this brings us to the end of this topic. Hope you find this information valuable and applicable in your clinical practice. Please do like and share this video and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Do check our Facebook and Instagram handles for more clinical insights and for more such informational videos on medical topics Please subscribe to YouTube channel Health Vizac. Medical Concepts Simplified. Thank you.